Thank you very much. Fantastic to be here. I'm so uh, honored to have given this opportunity. Let's see, do I have some pictures? Here we are. <laughs> here <laughs> you see me together, or besides me, I have the first uh, prototype of an average female uh, dummy. Uh, she's a prototype, as you can see, for example, how her arms are made. And I will tell you more about her later, but first set her in her context, and that is traffic safety. So in the world today, 1.3 million people are killed every year in traffic. That's equivalent to an airplane with 250 persons dropping down from the sky every hour, day and night, all, all year round. We would never accept that when it came to flying, that uh, we had that situation, but that is the situation on our roads. In addition to losing our life, we also lose our health. For every person killed, there is 10 persons that are severely injured and 100 that have sli uh, slightly injuries, injuries. And some of these slight injuries can lead to permanent medical impairment. So this is the scale of uh, what is happening in terms of loss of life and health on our roads. And it doesn't have to be that way. In addition, we know from real world data that uh, females has a substantially higher risk of getting um, injured and killed compared to males. Uh, a big study from the US for 11 years of data shows that the odds for a severe and fatal injury is 47% uh, higher, the odds are 40% higher than males, and for a broader range of injuries, it's even higher, 71%. The injury uh, for which females has the highest risk of injury compared to males are what is uh, named soft tissue neck injury, more commonly called whiplash injuries. Here, on average, the risk of a female getting an injured uh, compared to a male is uh, double the risk. These injuries consist of more than 60% of the cost for the insurers for all personal, cost of all personal injuries for, uh, for all injuries. So this is the most costly injury, injury on its own. And we have up to four times the difference in risk between different uh, cars. A bit more about the differences in risk. Have we known this for a long time? Yes, we have. <laughs> Here you see publications from the late 60s and onwards until up to today. The, the risk is um, for males is normally normalized to one, and then you see the risk of the females in comparison. And these are studies from all over the world. So the lowest, 1.5, and up to three. So what is whiplash injuries? A little bit more about this before I go into the, the dummies and the details that we as engineers work with in, in the crash lab. They are uh, of, you find those in low severity crashes, which is uh, less than 20 km per hour. They occur in all impact directions, however, most commonly found in re-impact. And it's about the motion of the neck and uh, injuries to structures in the neck when, when uh, in the rear impact the head uh, translates relative to the, to the torso like this and then goes into extension. And in addition, we now have data showing that there's a difference not only between different cars but also different seats, how they perform. And here I will show you data on that. This is real world data, this is from the insurers, and it, this type of data take around 15 years to collect. So this data was started to be collected in 1998, and 2013, uh, they were able to, had, they had so much data so they could split it into males and females, and I will guide you through this. This is 
uh, seeds with uh, what is called whiplash concepts. One, you have um, the active head restraints, and the other um, type is will and whips, and then horis the horizontal lines are the sta uh, a standard seat without any protection. And this is a uh, risk of permanent medical impairment, which is disability uh, assessed by a medical doctor. And first, let's have a look at the males. They have a lower risk in the standard seat compared to females. And then you see that both the active head restraint and the will and the whips will give uh, improved protection. However, when you look at the other um, graph with the, the females, you see a different uh, pattern. You see that those with the active head restraint actually have the females in the, those seats has less protection than if they were in a seat without any protection pr uh, system. And the will and the whips uh, works uh, for, for female as for, for males. So this, this, as you understand, this takes a long time to, to identify and then when we identify what to do, we have the cars out on the, on the street. We want to identify this much earlier. We want to identify this uh, for new cars. And then we, we do that by uh, doing tests with the models of the occupants. And this is then the models of the occupant that we have access to, average males. These guys are uh, frontal high-speed uh, dummies on their way out to the crash lab. You can you maybe ask yourself, oh, does it look like that for all impact directions? And the, answer, the short answer is yes. Here you see uh, from your left, you have the belt test. The, in the middle, the frontal test, and then uh, to your right, you have the side impact test, all done with uh, the average male as the, the dummy used. These are uh, tests done in Europe. However, the same is true for, for the test that is done all over the world. So this is, of course, an enormous limitation when we as, uh, will assess uh, safety. So what can be done and what have we done? We are a team of researchers in particular, but also uh, other organizations, companies, and uh, in, in, in particular Europe, there are some also around the world, which has uh, addressed this for the last 10 years. And we have worked in two big EU-funded projects. Uh, the first one, um, the second one we are continuing now on, and the first one we um, des uh, designed a mathematical model of an average female in the same way as we have the average male. The average male here is the biorid, and he is uh, 1.77 meter of height, and the comparable female then also average would be 1.66 meter. She's called Eva right here. And the weight of the average male is uh, 78 kilos and the weight of the fem average female is 62 kilos. And in addition then, of course, to the difference in weight of height, you have the difference in geometry and uh, weight distribution and also uh, differences in, in the um, joint stiffnesses which correspond to differences in, in muscle strength and so on. In the picture here you see that both uh, dummies seated, seated in the same seat and you can see uh, the, the difference in, in height in comparison to the head restraint and also how the head will and the whole uh, torso of course will interact differently with, with the, um, the seat back. We show you a simulation of that, I hope. Let's see, yeah, here it runs. And here you see the biorid to your left and the evarid to your right. And you see the differences in height um, relative to the head restraint and also the difference in how the dummies sink into the uh, seat back 
and the interaction with the seat back. Here are the two dummies uh, physically. You have the, again, the uh, biorid to your left and the, uh, the average male and the prototype dummy that I uh, showed you initially to your right, the 50F means uh, fifth percentile, which is average. And uh, here again, seated in the same seat with the uh, red horizontal line as the head, uh, the height, the top of the head restraint. And you see how different uh, the dummy itself, position itself in, in the seat. And of course, then uh, this uh, can correspond to quite different uh, interaction with the, with the seat. And finally, we have the prototype dummy in, in a seat in a crash test. So I will show you, I hope. Yeah, it's running. There we are. Oh, so uh, yeah, you will see the, um, the dummy, how, how it sinks into the, to the seat and also the interaction with, with the head restraint and the differences in, in, in height, as I, as I um, pointed out before, how that manifests itself in a dynamic event. So, vehicles are made to be used by both men and women. Vehicle safety assessment should be done equally with models of men and, uh, men and women, and we can do this. Thank you.